I really, really enjoy my religion. A Colorado man says marijuana is a major part of his religion and he shouldn't be punished for having it. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mark Kobrick. I'm Adela Arakawa. This new challenge comes as state lawmakers debate how to best regulate medical marijuana. 500 to 1,000 Coloradans are asking to go on the medical marijuana registry every weekday. Those are the kinds of numbers that are not going unnoticed at the state capitol. Today, Democratic Senator Chris Romer announced he and a number of other Republican legislators are introducing a bill that would, among other things, require medical marijuana dispensaries around the state get licensed and turn into nonprofits. The bill would also ban new dispensaries from opening until the middle of next year. This is the second bill introduced this session aimed at regulating the expanding industry. At the same time, a man from Greeley believes his religious rights were violated when a state trooper ticketed him for a marijuana possession. Jason Wimler belongs to a group called the THC Ministry which, in essence, worships marijuana. Wimler told Nine News reporter Kevin Torres he plans to challenge the ticket in court. Uh, marijuana will open your mind. A big part of Jason Wimbler's life revolves around marijuana. I love cannabis. He reads pot books. Pretty intense. Sleeps under a pot blanket. <laughs> and as of three months ago, he started studying a marijuana-based religion. I really, really enjoy my religion. Jason is a member of the THC ministry. He was even ordained as a minister. Kind of have to go and meet with uh, one of the head ministers, and they anoint you with cannabis oil. As far as Jason is concerned, he should legally be allowed to carry, smoke, and do whatever he wants with marijuana as long as it's part of his religion. It's part of my daily life. Jason might feel that way, but the government certainly does not. In fact, Jason was pulled over by a state trooper right before Christmas. The officer found a little bit of pot on him. I had a little less than a quarter. It was actually a Christmas present. Um, so I was a little disappointed that I lost it. Jason was issued a ticket. He had to pay a $100 fine and do some community service. But Jason says he's going to challenge the punishment because he believes his religious beliefs were violated. It's not like the Pope can walk around with a bomb. Why not? <laughs> and he actually probably could in America just because he's the, the Pope. But the truth is, religion can't be used as an excuse for drug use. Nine News legal analyst Scott Robinson says Jason's argument likely won't hold up in a courtroom. Jason will find that out March 9th at the Pueblo County Courthouse. In Greeley, this is Kevin Torres, Nine News. Wimler says he might represent himself in court. He has called the American Civil Liberties Union to see if that organization would help support him.